Hello there, Craig again. This time we're going to look at how to program the uh, Turnergy AccuCell 6 uh, battery charger and balancer. Um, how to actually program it to um, uh, charge a lithium polymer battery and balance it at the same time, which is what you need to do if you have uh, a lithium polymer battery with more than one cell, such as I've got here, which is uh, from a T-Rex 450 helicopter. First thing you need to do is just plug your balance lead in the side, which you can see I've done there. In this case, it's a 3S battery, 3 cell. And also you need to plug your, in this case, a Deeds plug into the main output of the charger. So uh, I've done that. What we need to do, as you can see, we're on the wrong type of battery. So uh, we don't want to continue with that program. So you just hit type down here until it comes up with uh, lithium polymer or LiPo, there we go. Now hit the start or enter button and there we go. Now it's giving us uh, a whole bunch of uh, options there. Uh, what, what we'll do is we'll hit start to enter that option and you can see on the left it's asking us uh, the capacity of the battery. So we'll hold our finger on the uh, up button under status uh, which will turn it up. Now it's a 2.2 amp battery. There we go. Now we hit enter on this side it's certainly not an 18.5 volt battery, it's a 3S battery. So we need to go down to 11.1 volts. There we go. Hit enter. That's now correct. Now, in this case with LiPo charge, it will just charge the battery. But what we need to do is actually, what we want to do in this case is actually balance the battery as well, which ensures that each separate cell has the correct voltage um, in it, which uh, will obviously make your cells last longer and uh, prevent any possible issues. So what we need to do now, we're into the LiPo area, is we need to go down here to our status button and advance one and you'll see it's got LiPo balance there. If we keep going, there's fast charge, there's also LiPo storage which is for storing your batteries. Now in each of these, the same way as before, you just hit the enter button and then go through and uh, change those. So all right, we'll, we'll go on to balance because that will be the normal charge or the normal uh, system that we would use for a battery, a three cell battery. So we'll hit start and that then lets us go in and alter the parameters. So we'll go up to 2.2 as before to 2200 uh, uh, milliamp battery. So we hit enter. Again, it's not a 22 volt battery. It's an 11.13 S battery. Now we're ready to go. What happens now is when I hold my finger on start, it will actually do a, a check. So if I hit that, oops, I've got to hold it on there, Craig. So if I hold my finger on that, it's now doing a battery check. Now what it does, which is a great idea, um, is that it actually comes back and tells you not only what you've programmed in, it's like a, a double check. And what it's actually uh, showing us here is that um, the charger itself has actually detected three cells. That's the R over that was there, if I hold my finger on that again the next time Craig. There we go. In that check I just did then, the charger has detected three cells and S, which is me, it's saying I've programmed for three cells. So what you should get is the same that the charger has detected should be the same as what you've set. That's to confirm that um, that's just to make sure that what you've got set is what the charger is detecting. It is, so I'll hold my finger on that again. Wait, let it do its check. And then what it's saying is to start charging hit enter. Now this battery is full so uh, it's certainly not going to last very long but what that's basically done now is it's now charging. That would be the normal setup that you would use uh, on this charger for a battery such as this. Um, it's a 3S battery, 3 cell. The charger has confirmed that what you've programmed in is what it has detected. Uh, those two values when it does the battery check should be the same. The R which is what the charger detects and the S which is what uh, you've programmed in should be the same. If they're different it means that you programmed the wrong cell count in. There you go. That battery is now full. It was anyway. Um, and that's the charger is now telling me it's now finished. You can also go through and check the different cell levels. Uh, cell 1 is 4.20, 4.19 and 4.20. We're not going to worry about point, point, uh, point 0.1 or point zero 0.01 of a volt. Um, so there you go. That goes through and gives you all the details there just by hitting the uh, plus and minus buttons there. Uh, and that's it.
that's uh, how you uh, charge. So don't forget, use the balance charge function on the uh, Turnergy um, charger if you're using a LiPo cell such as this, uh, in which case is a 3S battery from a uh, T-Rex 450. And I hope that, that uh, has helped somebody out there. Thank you.